Now let me let's solve this particular problem where you have x to the x to the power 3 plus 7 natural log x is equal to 0. So you know many do not know how to solve this problem. So now we are going to solve this particular problem. But before I start, I, I want to appreciate my subscribers. I thank you very much. You I'm grateful. And again, if you people have any comments after the at the end of this video, you can make your comments and order. And also, I also appreciate to have also new subscribers to my channel. Thank you very much. Now let's let me change the color of this pen to white. I prefer using white. So now, so now this is a problem. Let's solve it now. So now you have x to the power 3 plus 7 natural log x is equal to 0. Now for us to do this, let's now say x to power 3 is equal to now if you're moving this to this other side to the uh, right hand side this sign will not change to negative so you have minus 7 into x it's just like you want to move plus 7 natural log x not into x natural log x to this other side what you do you either you add minus 7 minus 7 times natural log x to both side you just add it to both side or you subtract minus 7 natural log x subtract it to both sides so now that's just what we did or you if you transfer it to this side continues to negative that's all that is the way to go about it now the next thing we're going to do we need to now we're looking for x so let me just re rearrange this again i say minus 7 natural log x is equal to x to the power of 3. now for me to i want to make x to be that is the variable i want to put the variables on one side and the constant on one, 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 one side. So for me to do that, what I need to do is, what I need to do is, now, on this side, I have a constant. On this side, I have a variable. So for me, what I should do now is, I will use these two things we have. These two things, we don't, I don't need this minus seven here. I don't need this, this side. So what we we'll do, we the pro, the that is we we'll divide the both side by the product of this and this. So what I'm going to do is I will divide now to remove it, to remove to make them to rearrange them so that they will be um, the variable will be one side while the constant will be one side. I will divide both sides by the product of the things that we don't want on this side and the things we don't want on this other side. So the things we don't want on this side is minus 7. The things we don't want on this other side is x cubed. X, that is x to the power 3 or x cubed. So, so we divide both sides by the product of this thing so now minus seven will cancel out minus seven now here now x to the power three will cancel out x to the power three so now we, what we're left with now is natural log x divided by x to the power three which is equal to minus one all over seven now this expression you have will now have natural log x divided by x to the power 3 is equal to minus 1 all over 7. 
So what I would now do next is I needed to change this expression just according to the law of log reading. If you have you have one all over one divided by x to the power three is the same thing as x to the power minus three. Just like the law of log reading when you say one divided by x to the power a is the same thing as x to the power minus a. So this expression we are going to make use of it. So now using it here, you now have the the left hand side will now be x to the power minus three times natural log x is equal to minus one all over seven. Now now I will now need to What we now need, we now need to rearrange this. You know, e to the power of natural log a is equal to a. So I'm going to make use of that. I want to change this x to e to the power of natural log x. Raised to power minus 3 all raised to power minus 3 times natural log x which is equal to minus 1 all over 7 so now you now have this to be e to the power minus 3 minus 3 times natural log x times natural log x is equal to minus 1 all over 7. Now, if you look at this now, you have minus 3. If you check minus 3, here is minus 3. So, there is no minus 3. So, this, when you look at this, it's not, it does not look like, let me just go to, you have, so what we have here is, what we have here is e to the power minus 3 natural log x times natural log x is equal to minus 1 all over 7. Let's go back. That is it. Now, I want to make use of the, the Lambert W function where you have W is W into W function of A times e to the power a is equal to a. So now when you look at this, it's not the same. So now we need to make this the same with this. Now, you know, according to the law of logarithm, again, you know, a, okay, let me just say, let me say x, let me say x, log a base b is the same thing as saying log a to the power x base b so we we are going to rearrange this to that form so now we now have e to the power natural log x x raised to the power minus 3 now, for us to, no, before I go to this, okay, okay, let me, let me not just jump so that we cannot get confused here, so that the, the viewers will be following what I'm doing. Before I do that, before I come to this function, this uh, rule, these rules of logarithm. I needed to make this equal to this. Well, for me to make this value here equal to this, in order to conform with what is here, I will multiply both sides by minus 3. So if I multiply both sides by minus 3, I have, let me rearrange this first before I do that. So this value, should, okay, let me just multiply both sides by minus 3. Multiplying both sides by minus 3, I have now 
e to the power minus 3 natural log x times minus 3 times natural log x is equal to minus 1 all over 7 times minus 3. So we now have this the same as this. So now let me rearrange it so it will look like this. So minus 3 natural log x e to the power minus 3 natural log x is equal to 1 over 7 times minus 3 minus 1 over 7 times minus 3 will give us 3 all over 7. Now let's apply the lambda w function. So now if we apply the lambda w function, you have minus 3 natural log x e to the power minus 3 natural log x equal to w 3 all over 7. Now let's go there. So now you have w minus 3 natural log x e minus 3 natural log x equal to w 3 over 7. Now, you know, according to this law of log reading, applying this, you have this to be w natural log x to the power minus 3 e to the power natural log x to the power minus 3 is equal to w 3 divided by 7. Now, this expression, according to the law of, according to lambda w function, which is this, you now have this expression to be natural log x to the power minus 3 is equal to w 3 uh, divided by 7. Now, this expression can be written in this form. Now, using this law of log reading where you have a to the power minus m is equal to 1 all over a to the power m. Now, if you apply that this expression here, you have 1 all over x to the power 3 equal to natural log 3 all over 7. Now, you have natural log 1 all over x to the power 3 equal to equal to w 3 all over 7 3 all over 7 now if you raise this expression this to these expressions to the to if you raise these expressions now let's say with these two expression if you raise it to the power if you take this expression and put it here e to the power natural log 1 all over x cube or x to the power 3 is, a, is the same thing as e to the power w e, uh, e to the power w 3 all over 7 so you we have the same this expression now i haven't said that because this, since this is equal to this so if you carry if you put the same base and put that same that expression that are the same up it will give you this this thing and you know according to the law of log reading e to the power log a base e is equal to a 
And this, this expression is something as e to the power natural log a, which is equal to a. So when you look at this, this expression is, sim is the same with this. So this is a, so which is 1 all over x to the power 3, which is equal to e to the power w 3 over 7. So, having gotten this expression, we will now say, now we have 1 all over x to the power 3, which is equal to e, let me see, e to the power w, to, um, 3 all over 7. Now, with this expression, I can now say you now have if you I invite if I I inverse here if I inverse the left the the right the left hand side eh, so what I do to this side I also do it to this side so I have to inverse this side so for me to inverse this I will now have x to the power three all over one is the same thing as one all over e to the power w three over seven. So, having gotten this, I will now say my x is equal to all 1 all over e to the power w 3 over 7 raised to power. Now, now if we have 3, if this is this, okay, let me not jump. Let me not jump the gun. Let's say... Let's say we have x to the power 3, which is now equal to 1 all over e to the power w 7 over 3 over 7. Now, if I take the cube root, if I take the cube root of both sides, or if I multiply the powers by 1 over 3, for me to take off this, I will multiply the powers by 1 over 3. So for me to multiply the powers by 1 over 3, I'll have 1 over 3 here. It's equal to, so since this is equal to this, I multiply the powers by 1 over 3. So we have e to the power w 3 over 7. All raised to the power. You know the power here is one, so one times one over three. So you will now have here will now be here will cancel. I have x. X is now equal to one to the you know one times one over three is one over three. So one to the one to the power one over three is one. All over e e to the power three over seven times 1 over 3. So that is what you have here. e to the power w 3 over 7 times 1 over 3. So, so we we'll now have our x. We we'll now have our x to be equal to 1 all over e to the power W 3 over 7 divided by 3. So this is the final answer. This is the final answer. So now let's go to let's go to let's use the lambda calculator. No. Let's use the lambda calculator. Okay, now before I use the lambda calculator, we have this. So we have we have this. We have x is equal to 
1 all over e to the power w 3 over 7 divided by 3. This expression is the same thing as e to the power minus w 3 over 7 divided by 3. So it's, it's just this expression. So now this is what we are going to use. Now let's go back there. Now we are going to say e e to the power um, sorry e to the power call it bracket lambda okay this is supposed to be minus supposed to be minus lambda w 3 over 7 so three over seven now I needed to also Divide the whole by three. Divide the whole by three. Let's see. So now you have it to correct. So now, so what we've got is zero point nine zero one. Zero point nine nine zero one. As the final answer, oh, you see, okay, the okay, alternative expression is this. Yeah, this is alternative expression. Now, let's go back and let's show you why, like the way this, this is, is why that is the alternative expression. Now, you can also re-express this. Now, the whole of this, now, if you look at, if you say, lambda, a, sorry, lambda w e, um, e to the power a is equal to a. You know, this expression, this thing is same thing as, if you have this, is same thing as saying lambda w that is w that is function of a e function of a is equal to a now dividing all through by w function of a this will cancel out you have you now have left with e w a which is equal to a all over w a now e now inverse of e if you inverse if you inverse this two expression this you know this is equal to this if you inverse them it will still remain the same so e to the power w function of a is equal to w function of a all over a which is e to the power minus w function of a is equal to w function of a all over a so now if you if we use this expression we can now rewrite this we cannot rewrite this expression as now you know 
the whole of this. Now we can now rewrite this whole, the whole of this thing as this. Now we know this. Now we know. Okay. We know this expression. What am I doing? So we know this expression as e to the power minus w three over seven cube roots. Now, if we now use if we now use what we got here, we now have cube roots here now. This is the A. 3 over 7 is the A now. This is lambda 3 over 7 divided by 3 over 7. So invariably, this 7 will come up here. So it will be like this. This is the final. This is the way it will look like. That is sorry. That is what is here now. If you look at this place now, that is what is here. Cubed seven. That is it. That is it. The same. So, thank you for watching my video. Please have a nice day. Also, do wait to subscribe, share the video. Thank you. Help me to subscribe and also share it and also recommend to people so that they will, they will subscribe and also um, like the video. Thank you. Have a nice day.